I never thought I would say this, but holy fucking shit, I lost my fucking voice tonight. Well, I sort of did. My voice is killing me, but... Holy crap, I never thought I would enjoy such a great Royal Rumble event. Um, a lot of the matches were a little bit lackluster. Um, I guess, what? Well, no, no, not I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one of the matches that I thoroughly enjoyed was the Dan Bryan um, Bray Wyatt match. Even though I kind of knew Bray Wyatt was going to win. But we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about the whole Royal Rumble that's that's going to take too long. It's going to take about 30 minutes just to talk about everything because it's a five-hour long pay-per-view, including the kickoff show, including all the fucking other matches that included in the fucking kickoff show. We're not going to get to that. Let's talk about, for just a wee, wee little minute, about the whole reason why everybody watches the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. The two Royal Rumble matches, the women's and the men's. Now, the women's, I was not really expecting much, except Kelly Kelly made her Kelly Kelly thing, I guess. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, everybody kind of predicted Charlotte Flair to win, and she did. Beth Phoenix was in it, though. Beth Phoenix was a little bit of a surprise for me because I thought she retired. Um, but she, she comes back during the Royal Rumble. She stays in it this time for more than a minute. <laughs> and, uh, she lasts a little while. I don't know if she eliminated, I, I can't remember if she eliminated anybody. I don't think she did. But, um, yeah, she eliminated Natalia, believe it or not. She, she didn't eliminate anybody else. But, but Natalia, who eliminated her, believe it or not, and Natalia eliminated Beth Phoenix last year, I want to say. So a little bit of a revenge for Beth Phoenix, I guess. So uh, Charlotte, Charlotte Flair wins. Uh, Bianca, though, Bianca eliminated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight women in this match, and Shania. Fuck, what's her name? Shania. Shania Basler eliminates one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, also Santino makes a, a little bit of return as Santina, and eliminates himself or herself, I guess. That was a, that 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 was a fun match to watch. The men's Royal Rumble was a match that I needed to watch because I needed to know if Brock Lesnar was going to fucking compete in the in the shortest Royal Rumble in history. I had to watch it just to prove myself wrong, and he eliminates. He eliminates uh, 13 people. He ties the record for most el eliminations, but holds the record, officially holds the record in back-to-back -back eliminations. Like, nobody is ever going, to, ever going to beat that record unless WWE finally gives Braun Strowman a chance to do back-to-back -back eliminations and then does that or something. I don't know. But uh, Brock Lesnar is now tied with Braun Strowman with most eliminations. But like I said, is currently um, the, the current record of most back-to-back -back with 13 back-to-back. -back. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Elias... Whom had his moment, unfortunately. Eric Rowan, which I thought, oh, well, this would be an easy elimination for... Well, I wouldn't say easy, but this would be interesting to watch. Eric Rowan versus Brock Lesnar. And he was eliminated. He was instantly eliminated. Like, almost instantly. The same thing, unfortunately, happened to Robert Roode. 
John Morrison, which unfortunately WWE kind of ruined his return a little bit. Kofi Kingston, Rey Mysterio, uh, whom both kind of had their stand up against Brock Lesnar a little bit. Big E joined in that fight as well. Um, and then Cesaro came in, got eliminated. Shelton Benjamin came in, um, whom trained with Brock, by the way, uh, got eliminated by Brock. Shinsuke Nakamura got eliminated by Brock. Surprise entrant, MVP, motherfucker, ended his contract with TNA, joined back with WWE, and surprise, motherfucker, MVP is back in WWE. That was a surprise. Uh, Keith Lee from NXT came in and battled it out with uh, Brock. That was a really good fight. Braun Strowman showed up, and I thought this was this was how Brock was going to go out. I thought Keith Lee or Braun Strowman was going to get eliminated. Or, I yeah, I thought Brock Lesnar was going to get eliminated by uh, Keith Lee or Braun Strowman. Turns out, no. Um, both of them were going to fight each other right next to the ropes, and Brock Lesnar just comes up and eliminates them both. Um, Ricochet comes out. Gets beat on a little bit by Brock Lesnar. Drew McIntyre comes out. Um, Ricochet gets the low blow on Brock Lesnar and Drew McIntyre claymores the motherfucker out of the ring. At that instant, Drew McIntyre became my motherfucking pick. I'm saying that now because I fucking can. Miz gets eliminated by Drew. Um, I want to say almost instantly, but that was a little bit into the match. AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, uh, Carl, Carl Anderson, and then number 21, motherfucker, Edge, makes a goddamn comeback, and I lose my goddamn mind. I wish I had recorded it. I wish I had recorded this fucking match. Because I had my laptop up here, I was sitting there thinking, maybe I should record it. Maybe I should bring this laptop down. Record this one match that I, that I, I guess care about, and then would have had a bit of content <laughs> as I watch Edge fucking return. Literally mark the hell out. Uh, Baron Corbin or King Corbin, I cannot remember who he was eliminated by, because at that point I was just lo I was in entranced with Edge. Uh, he got eliminated by somebody, though. Matt Riddle uh, was eliminated by Corbin. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, AJ Styles was eliminated by Edge. Um, let's see. Luke Gallows. Randy Orton comes out, and he and Edge kind of teams up for the rest of the fucking fight until the final four. Uh, let's see. Samoa Joe. Aleister Black. Kevin Owens. Roman Reigns, of course. Seth Rollins came out number 30. Um, Seth Rollins was eliminated by Drew after getting beat up by the Final Four, which was Edge, Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, and Roman, Roman Reigns. Um, yeah, Seth Rollins being the heel as, as he was tried to get uh, Roman Reigns to uh, team up and uh, Drew McIntyre just claymores the motherfucker out after everybody else just does their finisher on uh, Seth it was kind of dumb to be honest because Seth Rollins came in at number 30 I want to say last year it was either last year or whenever I don't, actually no I can't remember when Drew McIntyre or when uh, Seth Rollins came out last year but he won last year when he was a face now he's a heel. Now he's getting drugged out, or claymored out by Drew McIntyre. Um, but yeah. Um, Randy Orton gets thrown out by Edge. 
Uh, Edge, unfortunately, got eliminated by Roman, whom then got eliminated by Drew McIntyre. So Drew McIntyre is the 2020 Royal Rumble winner. Holy fucking shit. What a goddamn rumble. Uh, that'll be a, a fucking Royal Rumble to remember. And a very, very good Royal Rumble for from a very long time. That was a damn good Royal Rumble. I, I cannot remember for the life of me when the, when the last really good Royal Rumble was. Like, start to finish. Like, start out as... Holy shit, this, this is fucking bullshit to these awesome fucking returns like MVP returning, Edge returning. Um, that I fucking called, by the way. Uh, I, I fucking called Edge returning before the goddamn rubble even started, before the whole event even started. I fucking called Edge returning. And, um... It was a great event. I fucking enjoyed it. So, yeah. Great Royal Rumble. Well, I want to say Great Royal Rumble. It was more or less of a mediocre... Well, well not really mediocre. It was a very normal pay-per-view. But, a great finish to a Royal Rumble. Uh, I'm glad that Drew's been given this opportunity to go for a championship. I hope he faces Brock Lesnar because... God damn it, he probably will end up facing Brock Lesnar at the end of the day for the WWE Championship. I think he's on SmackDown, so he most likely will challenge Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. Uh, that Royal Rumble, uh, the 2020 Royal Rumble match, men's Royal Rumble match, I will give a perfect, well, not perfect, a, uh, a great 9 out of 10. Majority because of the Brock Lesnar shit. And... The nine comes from Edge returning, motherfucker, uh, MVP returning, and Drew McIntyre kicking Brock Lesnar out of the ring. The crowd saying, na 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 na, na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye to Brock Lesnar when he realized it, he was eliminated by Drew McIntyre, and going to be a good Wrestlemania season it'll, it'll definitely be a good Wrestle, uh, a, a very very good Wrestlemania season to come I, I, I cannot wait to see what will happen tomorrow on Raw um, though I, I will I will most likely have to watch it um, whenever I get the chance <clears throat> so whenever anywho uh that's all i have to say so thank you guys so much for watching what did you guys think of the royal rumble did you guys watch it did anybody watch it anybody else but me and uh 72 000 people watched the goddamn royal rumble because fuck me that was that was one of the best royal rumbles i've ever seen like in a long time other than that that's all i have to say so thank you guys for watching as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.